Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Rob of Rule of Two Review. Welcome back to the channel. We're here on this Metroid-focused YouTube channel. I am the only one on the entire internet who loves, supports, and passionately defends Metroid Other M. And of course, Metroid Other M is what we're talking about today. This is probably going to get me crucified by the internet, but I hope that that doesn't happen, especially because most of you who know me and follow me and are subscribed to the channel and hear me talk on Twitter about all sorts of things, you know the kind of Metroid super fan I am. You know that this is a channel where I put out tons of Metroid content and conversation. And that probably means you also know, as I just said, that I am someone, a Metroid fan and a Nintendo and Metroid focused YouTube channel that does like the most hated and divisive game in the franchise, Metroid Other M. In fact, if you see behind me, and it's been here for years, I have a Metroid Other M poster on my wall. I am not ashamed to show my fanship for that game and wear it on my sleeve. Now, the reason that we're talking about Metroid Other M today is because there actually was a fairly big and high profile story and discussion and some quotes that actually was going around about this exact game only a few weeks ago. That's right, in 2022, there was a pretty significant story doing the rounds. I found it interesting. I found it very enlightening. I have a lot to say about it, as you could imagine. And the fact that this all originated from the big man Reggie fils himself, of all people, again, in the year of 2022, makes it that much more fascinating, and I really cannot wait to dive into this topic with you guys today. Now, before we jump any deeper into the Metroid topic, I like to remind you guys that I am always trying to grow the channel here on Rule of Two Review. I am still less than 2,000 subscribers away from hitting 20,000, which is a very exciting milestone, but as I've said, in 2022, man, things have slowed to a huge crawl for me after the month of January. January was great. As soon as January was over, it was like nothing. <laughs> and so I am still trying to grow the channel. I talk about all things Nintendo and Metroid and video games. I upload every single week, at least I try to. And so as you watch this video, if you seem to like what I'm doing and what you hear, then I certainly hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. So the reason we're talking about Metroid Other M and the reason we're talking about Reggie and the reason Reggie himself was talking about Metroid Other M is because a few weeks ago, he actually appeared on the kind of funny Gamescast podcast that they do over on that channel. And he was appearing there mostly to talk about and promote his new book. And in that discussion, this is a topic, a game, and a scenario of his past and his history at Nintendo that he discussed, obviously working for the company during the Wii years and during the development and then release and then the aftermath of Metroid Other M itself. And man, he had some really interesting things to say about his experience with the development and the release and the divisiveness of Metroid Other M, and that's what I want to talk about. So let's quickly go over his quotes that he actually said about this game. I really thought that that was going to be a defining moment for the Metroid franchise. It was giving much more of a perspective about Samus. I really thought that was going to be a killer moment in the franchise's history, and it wasn't. It didn't deliver. Not the business results, it really didn't touch the player the way we hoped it would. Interestingly, I was in a large group meeting, a strategy meeting with Satoru Iwata and Shigeru Miyamoto and the game developers, and we talked about why not. I was always the brash American. I was the one who would say what I believed was truth to try and help the business move forward. The point I made to the developers was it took too long to get into the meat and potatoes of this game. The first five hours of the game, you kind of plotted around. There wasn't a lot of payoff, there wasn't a lot of dialogue, and I'm sure it pissed people off in the room. But the learning here was the player wanted to get into this much faster. Yes, there are elements we need to do from a tutorial standpoint to help them understand the game mechanics, but you need to move things along much quicker. And hopefully that advice had a little bit of an impact on the developers in the room. Okay, so... There is a lot to take away from those quotes from Reggie about Metroid Other M, the, the release, the divisiveness, like I said, the aftermath and the reception and all of that stuff. And, you know, I'm somebody who was, I would have just turned 30 at the time that this game released in 2010. And, you know, I loved it when it came out and I've loved and defended it ever since, you know, while also acknowledging that the game isn't perfect and has some flaws 
And it's, like, lower on my list of Metroid games. I did a ranking of Metroid games, all the Metroid games a few years ago. And I think out of the 14 releases in the Metroid... Well, now 15 with Dread. This is before Dread. So there was 14 at the time, and I think I ranked it at, like, number, you know, 8 or 9 or something. So I still like the game, but it's low on my list. I've never been shy about discussing and acknowledging that there are some issues with the overall design of the game. But I still love it. I still like it more than I dislike it. I see the positives more than the negatives that I agree are there. And so I've always very much welcomed and embraced it into my life as a Metroid fan and embraced it into my Metroid fanship. Because it's still Metroid. It's still Samus. The story is interesting, even though there are some problems. And Samus is still kicking ass in that game. Anyway, I got distracted suddenly diving into a little bit of a, a defense about Metroid Other M, which really isn't the purpose of this video, even though I knew it would obviously come up as a part of the conversation naturally. Getting back to Reggie and his quotes and what he's saying about the game. Part of it, I kind of get a little bit emotional about you guys, I won't lie. And maybe it's helpful that I just spent a minute randomly talking about why I've liked the game the past decade since it's released. Because... It really hurts my heart and soul to hear how he and probably Nintendo and Team Ninja, the developer behind the game, who worked with Nintendo and Sakamoto himself on this game and the story, they thought this was going to be a huge win for Metroid and for Samus and for the franchise. They believed in it so much. And that just goes so far for me. You know, when somebody believes in their vision, no matter what that vision turns out to be and how people receive it, there's something to be said and to respect about the passion behind a creative who has a vision that they commit to and see through to completion. And if there's anything you can say about Metroid, whether you love it or you hate it, that there is a vision to that game. It was a bold decision to make that game and to do the things that that game did. So clearly, even if that vision didn't jive with you, I think it's obvious that there was a vision behind it and they committed full stop to it. And that's the final product we have. Whether you think the game is a 1 out of 10, a 5 out of 10, or a 10 out of 10, that vision is present in that game. And hearing Reggie talk about how they thought it was going to be a killer defining moment, it breaks my heart because until I saw how much people hated that game in probably the months and years and so afterwards, when I was kind of playing it a little bit more in my own bubble, which was easier to do in 2010, by the way, um, I was like, this is a great game. Like, there were things I didn't love about it from the get-go also, but I still was like, man, what a cool game, great graphics for a Wii game, fun gameplay, very story heavy, you know, very much a game of its time and where gameplay and storytelling was going in the 2010s, right at the time that it released. And I saw Nintendo moving in a higher production, higher budget cinematic angle for my favorite franchise, Metroid, and my favorite character, Samus. And so despite some issues, I still walked away from it thinking it was a really great game and thinking it was almost a, a bit of a killer moment for the franchise. Just because I knew that there were some issues doesn't mean I didn't think that it was good. But as the years went on, I realized, man, people hate this game. A lot of people, there are people who like it, but most people hate this game or at least find it to be heavily flawed. And I was like, whoa, this game didn't land like I thought it kind of would. And like clearly Nintendo and Reggie thought that it would. And to know that they believed in it so much and then for them to see the reaction and realize that it didn't do what they thought, yeah, it makes me kind of sad as a fan of the game. Now let's talk about the other element here, and this is something I really want to dig into a little bit as well. And it's when he talks about being in a meeting with both Iwata and Miyamoto, and then also the developers, which I can only assume he of course means Team Ninja themselves. After the game released, and they, you know, of the many things they were probably talking about, Other M clearly came up, and they talked about maybe why it didn't land. You know, the game sold somewhere between like 800,000 and a million copies. So not a complete train wreck in sales, but clearly not the huge hit they wanted it to be, especially on the massively popular Wii. When you had games like Twilight Princess and Mario Galaxy and so many other things selling like crazy, Metroid Other M, which should have been a huge hit for one of their tentpole franchises, barely cracked a million or maybe even didn't. I've seen conflicting numbers out there, but it wasn't a massive hit. And so they were discussing why not, and Reggie was clearly sharing his thoughts about what he perceived to be people's issues with the game. When he talks about the fact that 
players plotted around too much at the beginning of the game. There wasn't a lot of payoff. They didn't like the tutorial aspect of the game. They felt that it took too long to get into the meat and bones of the game or the meat and potatoes of the games, I think he actually says here. And that there was too much dialogue and just not enough happening. And, um, you know, even though I can accept that there are some issues with the game, and I know what most people who don't like the game didn't like about the game, this is where I have to disagree with Reggie. And I don't know if he's being disingenuous or if he's just maybe out of touch with why people had issues with the games, but I know the things people don't like about the game. And it's not the beginning of the game. It's not the tutorial. And it's not the fact that it took, takes, you know, too long or whatever for anything to start happening. Because I actually think that that's one of the things that the game does pretty well across the board for all people. You can tell me if maybe you disagree. If you're somebody who doesn't like Other M, you can tell me if I'm reading this wrong. Or you can tell me if Reggie is reading this wrong. But I feel like the beginning of the game is fine and really not the thing that people didn't like about the game. I mean, here's the thing, you guys. I've played Metroid Other, Ga Other M several times. I've beaten the game several times in my life. I've probably played it through to completion, I don't know, six or seven times, you know? And I've started random one-off games here and there that I just never end up, you know, maybe I play for a couple of days because I have an itch, just like I do with tons of different games. And I maybe played it for a while and then I stopped or whatever. So maybe I've started a game between 10 and 15 times, but I've definitely beaten it and played it all the way to the last battle with Fantoon. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, six, seven, eight times in my life. I know this game. And the way the game begins is actually really strong. First, you start off with one of the best cinematics I've ever seen in a video game. Building off of the ending climactic battle of Super Metroid of all things where you're battling Mother Brain and the Metroid saves Samus and they re-envision that with this incredible and beautiful and very powerful badass looking cinematic, you know, recreating that moment in what was at the time very modern CG visuals. And it's so freaking awesome to see how they revision that. And then we see a little bit of what happens when Samus is then taken away and healed and the Metroid goo is cleaned off her and all these things happen. And then we're introduced to the tutorial section. And the tutorial section, very well done, I think. Very succinct, very efficient, very to the point. And honestly, you can play through this little tutorial section in less than five minutes. It doesn't take very long. In a world where Zelda games are known for having seven hours worth of boring, plotting, slow-paced tutorial sections in the beginning of the game, I'm looking at you, Twilight Princess, what Metroid Other M did was extremely clean and quick and efficient. And it even builds in and ends on a little bit of a plot device that leads into the larger story of the game. And from that moment, we're whisked away to another quick cutscene that sets up why Samus finds herself on the bottle ship, which is where you play the entirety of the game. And from the moment she lands, the game just lets you go and you're playing. And you're Samus with only so many of her abilities available on a new location that you're going to have to play through and discover and explore and find new things about it. And you will increase your abilities through an admittedly dumb plot device. It's probably the thing I hate the most about the game, but you have limited capabilities. And then like every Metroid game, for whatever reason the game gives you, okay, you will increase those abilities throughout. And so within the first 10 minutes of the game, you've gotten a cutscene or two that sets up What's going on? You've played a five minute, very efficient tutorial so you know how to control Samus in the game. And then suddenly you're dumped on the bottle ship and you're playing the game. That's every Metroid game. There's really nothing in my opinion that feels slower or less efficient than any other Metroid game. Whether it's a 2D game or the first person Prime games or anything, you've got less than 10 minutes of setup and tutorial and then suddenly you're just at the location you're going to be at in that game and you're exploring it. You know, limited capabilities, exploring to find new capabilities. Metroid Other M does have a unique device that allows all this stuff to play out and again, it's something I agree isn't handled that great in the game. But that doesn't matter. The overall setup and the time it takes to start playing this game is the same as every other game. I don't think that's the issue that people have with Other M. We don't really need to spend too much time talking about, I think, the issues that people have with the game because we know what they are, you know. 
It's the fact that there's a lot of inner dialogue with Samus. They don't like the person that the game tried to show her to be. They don't like Adam Malkovich. They find issues with the relationship between Adam Malkovich and Samus. I don't agree with those issues, but I do know that people see that. And so I'm not going to try to talk anyone out of that stuff in this video. That's not the point. The point is I can acknowledge what you guys who don't like don't like about it. Like, I get it. And they don't like the fact that Samus, you know, had a minute in her head to worry about Ridley before deciding to just say, screw it, let's kick his ass. And they don't like the ending of the game. And they, some people don't like the gameplay. I mean, there are other things that people don't like about the game. A few that I agree with, most that I disagree with. But again, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, so I'll wrap it up here that it's just weird to me and kind of disappointing to hear that the point that Reggie tried to share with the developers and Iwata and Miyamoto about what people didn't like about Metroid Other M, I just think is way off base and clearly shows that he and Nintendo misunderstood the problems that some people, a lot of people, have with Metroid Other M. As much as it breaks my heart to admit, as a fan of the game, that's not the stuff people didn't like. The tutorial, the intro, the first few hours of the game, that stuff is fine. That's not what people disliked about the game. And so, at this point, it's probably best that I kind of wrap this conversation up and put a bow on it, because if I try to elongate this video and this topic anymore, it's just going to become, let me tell you why I think the game is good. And I actually want to make a separate video about it. I've been planning it for a while. I've been planning two videos. One has been a conversation with another fellow YouTuber, Twitch personality friend of mine, who very much enjoys Other M as well, and is on the Defender side of that game. And her and I have talked about it before, and months ago, I tried to organize us making kind of a, a podcast discussion about the game, and it came down to me and my tech issues that I had on my side that put that off, and we've yet to kind of come back together. And so eventually, I want to have that conversation with that person as well. I'm keeping it a secret for now. Um, but I also want to make just my own kind of thesis video and actually just say, as a fan, this is why I think the game is good. Uh, and so I don't want to bring that any more into this video than I already have, actually. So I'm going to wrap this conversation up for now, but I thought it was worth exploring from a Metroid super fan and one of the few defenders of Metroid Other M. I wanted to discuss Reggie's quotes, what he said on the Kind of Funny show, and the fact that as much as I love Reggie, I don't agree with his assessment of what people didn't like, and I also wanted to talk about my completely crushed heart overhearing what they believed should have been a killer defining moment for the franchise and for Samus and the fact that, you know, it just blew up in their face. And in my opinion, it blew up for the wrong reasons. I don't agree with the consensus that it's a bad game. So when I hear that the overwhelming majority of people who lashed out against this game kind of broke their hearts and showed them that, that, is, that this isn't a game they want, yeah, it makes me very sad. So anyway, I think that's it. That's what I have to say about this. Always fun talking about Metroid, even Other M. So tell me what you guys think. What do you think about Reggie's quotes? What do you think about my breakdown and assessment of the situation? And I know I'm opening up a can of worms, man, but how do you guys feel about Metroid Other M? You know, I know I'll see a couple of defenders out there, but I know most of you are going to tell me that you just hate the game and you think it's all stupid. But you know what? That's fine. I'm not here to delete comments. I'm not here to shut anyone down, man. You share the opinion you feel. You're, you're entitled to hate this game, even if I disagree with you. You are entitled to it, and I want the conversation to exist in my comment section. So please, whatever you feel, talk about it below. And with that, this video is a wrap. Thanks, of course, as always, for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Roll of Two Review, and I'll catch you next time on another video.